Hi, this is Margaret from dataminingdna.com and this video is about comparing your DNA to some ancient Irish DNA samples that are on GenMatch. So what will we be looking at? One of the samples, there are four samples and one of them, the oldest, is a Neolithic female. She was found in the townland of Ballinahattie, which is in Northern Ireland, it's just south of Belfast. So just for context, this is the island of Ireland. This is Northern Ireland. There's Belfast and Ballinahattie is a townland that is just to the south of Belfast. This Neolithic female is about 5,200 years old. The other three samples were Bronze Age males. And they were found on Rathlin Island, which is in Northern Ireland. And these are a little younger. They're about three to 4,000 years old. Rathlin Island is, again, we're talking Northern Ireland. It's off the coast of Antrim. It is actually still inhabited, and it is the most northerly island, inhabited island off the coast of the entire island of Ireland. And it's quite a, a beautiful place. It's a, it's a bird sanctuary as well as being an inhabited. So you may be wondering, how on earth do we have DNA kits for four samples of such ancient nature up on Jedmatch? There's already a collection of archaic DNA matches on Jedmatch for comparison. I've previously done a video of comparing your DNA with a collection of archaic DNA matches that are include Neanderthal and a whole lot of other eras against this collection that was put up by Felix Manuel some years ago. These four ancient samples aren't part of that collection. Another guy called Matt Kitching used the same techniques as developed by Felix, and he prepared these four samples into formats and files that could be uploaded into GetMatch. So thanks to Matt for doing that. There'll be a link in the description below to the companion article on our blog, and we've got I've got background information and links to uh, more information about the samples. So let's get to it. Because they're not part of the archaic DNA matches, they are simply uploaded as four particular samples. If you're familiar with GEDmatch and you just want to jump in yourself and run the comparison reports, I'll put the kit numbers as well in the description below. And they're also laid out in the article on our blog. So we're looking at four, four kit numbers that we're going to have to do one-to-one -one comparisons between our DNA and each of these kit numbers. All right. So coming to GEDmatch, I'm not using the archaic DNA matches. I'm going to use the one-to-one -one autosomal DNA comparison. Enter in my own kit, and then we treat these ancient kits like any other kit when we're doing a one-to-one, -one. and I will take the first one, which is the oldest one, which is the Ballinahati Neolithic female. Okay, one thing that you will want to change here is the minimum segment size. The default is seven centimorgans, and you're probably not going to get anything that level. You have to go right down to the lowest level, which is three centimorgan. Now down at that level we are we're looking at shared DNA and DNA in common could be due to chance. It could be due to other reasons than what we're normally looking for, which is the common ancestor. But it's interesting nevertheless because it could be due to chance or it could be due to identical by population. I'll have details in the article. This is purely for interest. Down at these low levels of three centimorgan it could all be, you know, shared by chance. Uh, once I've hit in three, I'm just going to click compare and what do I get? I'm going to scroll down until I see, or if I see, any shared DNA at three centimorgan and above and here we go. So chromosome 15, I have shared DNA of 3.3 centimorgan with Ballinahati female. Any more? No, that's, that's, that's it. Right. That's the Ballinahati female at 5,200 years old. And now we've got the three younger young men, the Bronze Age young young books. So I will take Bronze Age male one and just put in this kit number two there. Click com what the heck? Click compare. Oh come on, dead much. Oh, this is annoying. Okay, boats, boats. Well, I suppose if we're checking out guys on an island. So Rathlin Island man number one. What have I got? Ah. Oh. So this is a slightly larger match at 4.8 centimorgan on chromosome number 18. Anything else? No, just the one chromosome. 
pair. Male two. Two. Crikey. Could Jed Match get any more annoying? Young Buck number two. On Bronze Age, what have we got? Oh, no shared DNA segments. Interesting. What about number three? So now for the last of the Bronze Age males. Scroll down and no shared DNA segments found. Interesting again. I should just point out as well that as you are comparing uh, kits, you get this description that was entered by the uploader. So just so you just don't lose sight of where you are. So just to sum up in terms of my own comparisons and just a little bit of context on my DNA. So if we come back to the map or one of these maps, let's say this map here, and here's Balnahati, and that is Northern Ireland. If I just scroll in a little bit and see the cabin there, the town of Cavan there, the county Cavan. My maternal heritage goes back many, many generations in this area. So ancestry, when it does my ethnicity estimate, it pinpoints my Irish heritage actually right down to here. It's possible that that plays a part in what I'm seeing. So if you are actually running your comparisons, you're welcome to put a comment below as to which hits you match with is it the Ballinahati female or is it Rattle Man number one or number two, etc. And just mention which chromosome you're matching on and the number of centum organs that would be interesting. If you're also curious as to how you actually get your DNA up into GEDmatch, the article in on our blog will give you links to tutorials and we have this a video walkthrough on this channel walking through that process. So links will be in the description below. Hope that helps and best of luck with your research.